Hello there geocachers, treasure hunters and thrill seekers. I'm out in Hull today doing a few geocaches. First one I'm going to do is called Danger Danger Razor Wire. Sounds gripping. Let's get looking. We're not far off now. Just passed through or passing through Hessel or as it's known locally, Ezel. Right, I'm parked up and the app is saying that I'm about 120 meters away. If I zoom in and have a look, yeah, I've kind of got to walk around this path. Unfortunately, I can't find this one. I do believe the area has been developed a little bit in the activity log for this. The previous activity, there's about four or five DNFs. I actually hadn't seen those before I came looking for this. But this whole area, this looks relatively new. And when I look back at the pictures, the photos that other caches have taken in the activity log, there is one that actually does show the cache and the wall looks very different to the wall that's there. So I believe that this one has been muggled by builders. Right, on to the next one. Right, so this next one is called Sidetracked Hezel. Or Ezel, as I know it. Uh, sorry, I can hear a dog barking, so I'm just looking to see where it is. Sidetracked Hezel. Let's get looking. Gotta say, I made driving to this one look really difficult. <laughs> oh God, I wasn't paying attention to the road signs or what. Um, I've got the thing here on the app and the hint, oops, press the wrong button. The hint is, can you see that? It says, what's on magnetic? I think this one's gonna be pretty easy to find. Let's have a nosy. Right, I found it. Not gonna ruin it by showing you exactly where it is because it really is an easy find. You can literally pull up outside this one. And yeah, there's the cache. Just drop the lid. Right, okay, got it back. Oh, it's wet in there. The log's wet. It's a plasticky one. Thankfully, being a cleaner, I do have cloth to hand, so I'm just gonna dry all that up. I'm gonna dry out the the canister, make it good for the next person who comes along. What I would recommend with these is if you're new to this and you're putting these back, do not put them back in an upright position with the lid at the top. Put them back upside down and then water draw it drains away and the log doesn't get so wet. Right, that's it for this one. So that was my 58th find and uh, there's one I've oddly, oddly enough, I've driven past one on the way here a couple of times now uh, called Woodfield Lane. I've pulled up near this one called Woodfield Lane and I'm about 80 metres away from it. So let's get looking. Looks like I've got something on the head. Right, let's go looking for Woodfield Lane. Wait for those two cars. One of the great things about this one is you get this fabulous view of the Humber Bridge. I mean, look at that. It is a spectacular feat of engineering. And it was at one point the world's longest single span suspension bridge over a mile. It isn't anymore, it's been topped. All these things get beaten, don't they? All those kind of records, they don't last forever. Right, well I'm pleased to say I found the cache while I was showing you uh, bits of the bridge. It's quite an easy straightforward one, I'll just wait till there's, uh, all the muggles have gone. Yeah, you didn't see me retrieving that one, did you? So, it is magnetic. It's one of those magnetic clip-lock tubs. Log inside and somebody's left a little spider. 
So I'm just going to sign this up. How spectacular is that? Right. Let's crack on with the next one. I think that was my 59th find. Might be able to tick the 60 box today. Somebody's walking, driving slowly behind me. I wonder if it's a potential geocacher or a mugger. I think it's great being able to see that bridge over the houses. It makes it look even taller somehow. Maybe not on camera, but it's just to me walking. Whew, it's a nice warm day. Next one we're going to do is Foreshore, Foreshore, and it's on Hessel Foreshore. So, another short drive, and away we go. That bridge looks amazing. I've never been, I don't recall ever coming along here before. Not seeing it from this angle anyway. Don't want one of those in your nether poppletons. Right. Getting closer, 78 meters it says. Well I found it. I've just got to be really discreet because there are muggles all around. It's actually right near my foot. There are about three people sat down there. So I'm just going to set the camera up, pull it out, and just sort it out quite quickly. <laughs> so that was my 60th find. Found that one and bumped into an old friend at the same time. There's another one just a bit further down this path called World's Way at Amber. Let's get looking. I don't know whether this camera will pick them up, but up ahead there are some amber lights just by the train track. Considering this is called World's Way at Amber, I think that might be a clue. It really is just magnificent. And such a glorious day too. Right, so we're getting closer. I think it's going to beep at me. The hint is five six seven I wonder what that means it's beeping at me sorry the sun's behind me gotta get a move on found the log it's actually a snarled up, chewed up mess in there. Plus there are trains around. <laughs> right, I put it back. I can't actually uh, do anything with that today because it's, uh, it's too snarled up inside, but I'm going to log it as a find. Yeah, I'm going to let the cash owner know that that's a bit of a, bit of a mess. So I'm going to look for somewhere now to cook something to eat or shall I just head home and have something to eat at home decisions decisions anyway whatever I decide to do if I cook something to eat it'll be straight after this bit but if I haven't cooked anything to eat thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this give the video a like if you have give it a thumbs down if you haven't subscribe to the channel and you get a notification from YouTube every time I upload a video cheers see you soon